Hi Gemini, good morning. This is your channel messages for my Gemini placements. Okay, Gemini, we're jumping straight into your reading. We're not each. Roll yourself. Gemini. I woke up this morning, Gemini, and it was 13 degrees. <sighs> Gemini, winter is coming. Winter is coming. All oh, hail the lady of the north. Lady of the north. Listen to me, listen to me. The lady of the north is still... She's still the lady of the north, so these people can go ahead. And I'm not bashing anybody. I'm not trying to spread any hate rumors. But women, 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 we need to come together. Just because one man do another girl dirty, I know the man single. Everybody's like, oh my God, it's okay. It's fine, bruh. This is a fucking problem. That's why the enners be cheating on us and they be taking us for full. Because we as women, we don't stand up for each other. As one opportunity to take away from another woman, you jump and you be like, oh, my turn. The queen of the north is still higher ranking. I'm just saying. We have Sagittarius. Oh my God, Sagittarius coming out. Gemini, that is your opposite, okay? We have Capricorn. Oof, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Gemini, what are you into? Hmm? Capricorn is the devil, but I say Gemini is the devil sometimes. Along with Aquarius, but Sagittarius and Capricorn... It's over, okay? So I'm getting the Sagittarius and the Capricorn got caught in the lies. Well, there is a ghost in my room. I'm getting something about you catch somebody with a Ouija board or you catch somebody doing some type of weird ass spell, magic, bottle, bottle with ritual. You catch two people doing something, okay? And pictures and videos, yeah. Maybe you went into somebody's phone, Gemini, and you saw something. But I'm getting... I'm getting you're seeing pictures of dead animals in someone's phone. Like you're seeing the dead the animal before it dead and after it dead and with the blood in it and everything. Gemini, let's go. We have the strength card coming out first. Leo energy. Or I'm getting um, light, lightness, light is being shined um, in something that you're doing that's dark. Okay, but the strength card is Leo. We have the four of wands. So something about a Leo in their household or something about the house that a Leo lives in. We have Capricorn, Sagittarius, and this is Gemini's reading. So a lot of people coming up, okay? We have the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and then we have the Six of Cups. I I'm getting, um, 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 please come back home. Is that Fort Minor? Is the same Fort Minor, right? Please come back home. Alright, so I'm getting you used to live with a Leo, Gemini. The Leo misses you a lot. I feel like the Leo is trying to find you, then trying to reach out to other people to talk to you. I feel like somebody got a new apartment and get a new home, are them better off in a situation now, and somebody wants to reach out to you. It's just that Gemini, them don't know if you're going to take them apology. I mean, I don't know what caused this, but I'm getting something about a pick, something about maybe a find out that someone's a part of something. With the pictures and videos, there's a ghost in my room. It's over. Capricorn and Sagittarius. Maybe the competition was between a Capricorn and Sagittarius and you. But I'm getting the Leo choose you. I don't know why I'm getting Leo Sun Gemini Moon or Gemini Sun Leo Moon. That is a lawyer, a politician, or a doctor. I'm telling you, okay? So maybe you're talking to somebody, they're like, oh, you know, I have my new place. I'm showing you pictures of the house. Them kind of want to slightly invite you over, but I'm not sure. Or maybe they're just not sure if they're supposed to reach out to you. I'm getting a lot of people reach out to you, but you don't respond to the, the, the Leo. We have the Empress card coming out. Yeah, because... Yeah, because um, don't don't be coming for Namani, because Namani is that bitch, okay? Exactly, the Empress card, clarifying the Sun card, okay? So, I'm assuming somebody wants to impress you with their new rental, their new house that they buy. Somebody want to impress you. You're the Empress here. The Empress is Leo, Libra, Taurus energy. No, we have so much zodiac signs here, Gemini. Are you involved in something? Are you stalking all these people with pictures and videos? Maybe you're following a Sagittarius and a Capricorn and a Gemini and you're like, Whoop, wait, hold on, who's this Empress? I'm getting something catches your eye or it just shines light on your day, Capricorn. Gemini. What's the four of wands? 
clarified by the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's continue. Eight of Wands clarified by the Six of Wands. And I'm getting the Six of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini, I don't know if this is your reading. I'm getting you have your eye on an Empress, okay? A very beautiful, very enlightened archetype, okay? Someone who's very, very confident and someone who you know that if, if they're in your life, they have to be the only one. They have to be the only one like the sun. We're not talking about the moon around it, so. Moon, how much planet carry how much 20 different moon? We're not upon that. One man with 20 different women. We're not upon that. We don't share our men around here. No, we don't. But if they dare to disrespect us, we will warn other women about their behaviors. Yes, but I'm getting somebody knows that if you're going to come into their life, you're the main character, you are the only character, okay? Plus, you might be on a world stage, so I'm getting somebody know that they can't do it. They can't be talking to these bitches while, while they want to be seen with you in public. It just won't work. Now we have a Libra here turning her back to the Empress. The Empress is usually Libra Taurus. Now we have Libra coming up. Gemini, this could be you as well. So I'm getting something about a housing situation between two women and a Sagittarius. Or something about a housing, a roommate agreement, something like that. I'm getting the Sagittarius wants you to be there, okay? Unless this is something being put on by all of these people for the Empress, like a house warming, but I'm getting the Libra. The Libra don't like the Empress. So if the Libra is going to be there, the Libra is not fond of the Empress. I feel like the Libra kind of ignoring the Empress because the Libra feel like the Empress is too pretty or she take too much attention or she's smart. Because the Libra is smart too, you know, very intellectual woman. But the Empress is a complete package. It's all... How much um, stars she have on her head? I think 12, right? 12 stars she have on her head. So I'm, think, I'm seeing that the Libra don't want the Empress for moving. The Sagittarius is like, yep, no problem. Or let her move close to us. Six of Pentacles. I feel like... This, I, feel like I don't know if this is a two-wife situation. And if it is... Um, if it is Gemini, it's not going to go well. If you have these two archetypes here, one is a... Taurus, one is a Gemini, or it could be Libra, or a Gemini, or this just could be you, okay? Maybe you just want a roommate with women, you don't want a roommate with a man. Or you're already in a relationship with a Sagittarius, and the Sagittarius want to bring you into the house, but you're the Empress. The Empress doesn't share kitchen. The Empress does not share kitchen. Not at all. The Empress have to have that kitchen. So if she gets up 3 o'clock in the morning, and she want to bake something, she can but I'm getting the Libra is like, no, or the air sign is like, no, we don't want her here. But I'm getting the Libra is turning her back to the Empress, but everybody's looking on the Empress, okay? So the, the Libra is intentionally trying to ignore. I'm getting Gemini, you want to give somebody an opportunity. You go, you're going to apologize to them, and then you're going to ask them to come visit you, maybe to come live with you. Now, the Libra could be a sister, okay? Or the Gemini's a sister. Give me one more. What is the outcome? One more, one more. I need the outcome. We have the eight of the eight of pentacles. So I'm getting that you know those YouTubers where all of them stay in one house and all of them make money and all of them split the rent for the house and all of them live there and then sometimes they can create content in the house. I'm getting two things. One this could be a collaboration between a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, a Libra, and a Taurus. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus. I feel like all alone or something about living in a house. Maybe like reality TV, you guys going about your business and cameras are recording you. But I'm getting the Empress is the star of the show, whether you like it or not. So I'm getting something about all of these people working in the same house. Splitting rent. But making money, all of y'all making money together, you want to talk to somebody about a collaboration. So they are going to be working with a team or around people. But again, I mean, the Empress, I could just stand out, the Empress with a Sun card. And I want to say this again, someone's Luciferian. This is Luciferian. This is Lilith, the Sun with the Empress. This is not just confidence. Confidence stand alone. This is the Sun with Venus. So I'm getting morning star. Okay? I'm going to leave it here, Gemini. Until next time. Meta.